at the Los Angeles Auto Show, we're at the Mazda booth looking at the new Miata. And with me is a gentleman who knows a lot about Miata because he was there at the beginning designing the first Miata. Tom Matano, this is the new one. How much is it like the, the old one? Is it a return to the original spirit, as some people have said? The spirit, by all means, because, you know, the, the, like this here, right? Mm -hmm. To see the fender peak from the driver is very important. First had it, second had it, third kind of lost it, but now came back. So I'm really happy that spirit lives on mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the corners, the way it is cut off, which is a inertia for the handling. Mm -hmm. And so that again, that meet the criteria. Now there's another car at the show that some people think is very similar to this car. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a, a Mazda though, it's a Fiat. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's a Fiat. <laughs> Have you seen the new 124 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Spider? Oh yeah, I went to see it. Yeah. yeah, everybody wanted to know what I feel, what I think about it, right? So again, what the, this fourth generation has to be, cannot be retro, uh, has to be modern. Mm. Still gotta be Miata. Okay, so they went that one route. Mm -hmm. And the probability of their another zone on that new new possibility was more of a retro direction. Mm -hmm. But Mazda took it this way, and I think this is the right direction to go. Mm -hmm. But that retro thing that I saw Fiat, I said, wow, this is the one zone that we think you know could be a retro Miata thing. Now, in the classroom, during your instruction, uh, how will you teach your students about the difference between the Mazda Miata and the Fiat Fiat. There are 30, 40 students here from our school. Mm -hmm. So when we go back, we have a good debate or discussion about it. See what they think. Excellent. Well, yeah. thank you for talking oh, with us welcome. about it today. I appreciate right. your time. Okay.